hello. This morning I have a little tryout from Pinterest. I'm going to see how to take these painted, they're called labels on other bottles, but this is just decor, just a little painted something on here. And I've seen two different ways of doing it. So I've got two different products, two different techniques. I'm gonna try them both and we'll see which one works the best. The first one is the works. The directions say, um, not verbatim, but the directions say that you take the works, you take your bottle, fill it with hot water, submerge it in a vase, then you want to put enough of the works in there to cover up the top of where the label is. You wait a few minutes, then you take a pot scrubber and just scrub it off. It should just slough right off of there. Okay, that's the first. The second one is to use CLR. I have two bottles that are exactly the same. That you splash some on a paper towel. Of course, you'd want to wear gloves for that. You're going to wrap it around the bottle and leave it on there. You can leave it on a few hours or overnight, whatever it takes to get all of this label off, and then it should just wipe right away. So it's going to take a little more time to do it this way. So we're going to start off with the works. I think it goes without saying that you need to do this in a well-ventilated area. Okay, so I've got my hot water. I just used um, hot water from the tap and then put it in the microwave for one minute to be sure. I have my bottle and I have a good old mason jar. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and put it on the inside because it fits perfectly. It'll take less of the cleaner if you have a smaller container. Otherwise, if you stick it in a big bowl like that, you're gonna have to use a ton of the cleaner. But this way, there'll be enough to surround it without wasting a bunch of the product. You can get the works at the Dollar Tree. All right. So I'm not putting this in the bottle, I'm putting this on the outside of the bottle, between the jar and the bottle. Now we're supposed to wait, see what happens. I'm just going to put that aside near a window so nobody can breathe it. So on the next one, I'm just going to put on my good old stained up cleaning gloves. You can also get these at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take some of the CLR and I'm going to put it on this towel. It's just two large paper towels folded together. I'm going to step back a little bit. Okay. I think that should be enough for that small bottle. Here's my bottle. I'm going to put it face down like so and wrap the paper towel pretty tightly around it. Just while it sits is to stick it inside of a jar. That's gonna hold that paper towel next to it. Keep it pretty secure in there. Then I'm gonna put it on a non-porous surface and I'm gonna let it sit, just as the instructions say. Also, I referred back to my recipe on the CLR, which was the second one, and it said that she stored it in a Ziploc bag overnight uh, when all the paint didn't come off. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in one, but I'm going to leave it open. I don't want anything to explode. I'm kind of scared of that. Like this, for an hour, I have set my timer with Alexa for this one, and I have set my timer with the other one on the microwave. So, 15 minutes, the first one will be done. And in one hour, the second one will be done, and we'll check in and see how things are going. And I'm excited to see if this is working yet. Now remember, the first one we're checking is the ones with the works, um, tub and towel, or tub and shower, whatever it's called. So we're going to try that one first, see if it looks like it's coming off. It's been a full 15 minutes. Just looking at it this way, it doesn't look like anything's coming off. But here's a scrubber. So let's just, just give it a shot and see. So 
Okay, it is not budging with that spot. Okay, I absolutely cannot stand steel wool, but it does have its place. So, let's just see if this is what they meant by pot scrubber. Oh, well would you look at that? Maybe this is what they meant by pot scrubber. scratching the glass either. Now some of this here, this is from the label. The sticky label that was on there. Hmm, I took that off too. Wow! Alright. So I'm going to rinse this bottle off real quick and then we're going to take a quick look at it. Right, so, this is the first bottle. And, uh, what you're seeing on the inside is there's not a scratch on the outside that's actually water beads let me get those out to show you that it um, it didn't even scratch the glass there we go sparkling clean like it never ever had a label on it and right here in this window you could probably hear my air conditioning unit running and if you can I apologize for that annoyance but had to open the window. Got to keep some good ventilation in here. So this is what we have. A beautiful little glass and I am so excited about this. I am so excited. Okay, honestly, I don't need another option if this one works. So let's get the other one out and see what it looks like after 20 minutes or so. So we're going to try this the same way as we did the other one. Same routine. Here it is. If you'll remember, we had it in the lot. I put it in the jar to keep it moist. Okay, here's our label. I'm gonna give it another good wipe with the CLR. And this is how it looks so far. Okay, we're gonna use the same process before. Here's a little pot scrubber. I'm gonna see if anything comes off. Nothing's coming off. So I've taken a fresh steel wool and we're gonna try it this way. Well, it's kind of coming off, but I'm really having to put pressure on it. I don't wanna scratch my glass. Okay, so, whew, I'm telling you, if you had arthritis, this would not be the option for you. You would want to do the other one because it came off a lot easier. I really had to put some elbow grease into this one. Well, let me go rinse it and dry it and we'll check it out. Okay, let's take a look. It looks like everything came off. Again, that's, that's water on the inside that you're seeing. I don't see any marks on the glass like it was scratched from the steel wool. It looks like a little bit of sticker residue was left on there. So I think the works got the, the, uh, the price tag sticker residue off a little bit better. And there's a little spot right there that still didn't come off despite me really working hard at it. Mm. But there it is, it's off now. But it took the rest of the sticker that was off on the bottom, the price sticker that was on the top. It was a little more difficult, but it did come off. So, this is our CLR bottle. This is our Works bottle. Which one, in my opinion, worked the best? I'm gonna have to go with the Works. It was a lot easier to take off. However, the instruction said a pot scrubber. To me, this is a pot scrubber. You know, it's like a sponge with a little rough side. This would be a pot scrubber. And it didn't work on either one, but the steel wool, on the other hand, worked on both of them. This one took a lot more pressure and work than the works. 
pretty much the words was like just rubbing around and it came off. This one, I really had to, really had to put some, uh, to exert some strength and power into this one. So, but both of them work and I'm so excited because I have projects in mind for this. So, I have one more jar to do and I'm doing it in the works and just to show you. You know the process. I didn't use this one as a control because this one has a different, has some different colors and only have one like this. So guys, I got these jars, 10 for $1, right. But there were only three left, so I got the three they had. So for 30 cents, I got these. Took the little, taking the labels off and I'm gonna use it for a little project for my farmhouse. So I hope that you all stay tuned. Let's see how this little guy turns out. We are back with the third and last bottle. Thank you, Alexa. I am back with the very last bottle and I am ready to see how the works worked on this bottle that has um, some color in it. Instead of just black and white, it's got some color in it. So I'm gonna take this to the sink and empty it out and I'll be right back. All right, and if you'll notice, there's still a sticker on the bottom. very easy came off very very easy all right here's our steel wool not even gonna bother with the other one because we know the other one doesn't work I'm gonna take the steel wool and just rub it off and it's coming off so easy just very very easily the color is no more difficult to come off than the the black and the white were so that's good. You can see it, all that paint just sloughing off there. If it looks like I'm really having a hard time with this, I'm not. It's kind of difficult to hold on with rubber gloves. So I'm actually kind of slipping around a good bit here. But, okay. So that looks like it got it all. I don't see any more sticky label on this part. I'm gonna take it to the sink and rinse it off really quickly. All right, again, we're drying and we're drying and we're drying. All right, there's the third bottle, the one that had the color on it, and it looks perfect. So I got some water that I didn't get off, but anyway, yes, I think the works is gonna be the one that I use from now on. And I really never knew before I saw it on Pinterest that you could even do this without scratching up the glass. So this is very impressive and I will give credit below on the woman who posted this because this was very, very helpful. Now I can do my pretty little farmhouse projects with my pristine glass. Thanks for watching guys, bye.